Oh god, I forgot about this part. Okay, this part is really annoying. You have all these little fishes swimming at you. And you don't know where they're going to come from unless you like play the level several times. I would try to, you know, risk it and try to swim through it as quickly as possible, but... I think that spelled out disaster when I tried to stream this game last year. Because I just, like, kept hitting everything. Okay, then you have this part right here. And after this, we have the exit. Alright. Okay, next we have, I believe, a minecart level. Yep, minecart madness. This level's a little different. For one, there's actually bonus levels in here now. And also, when you're in the minecart, you actually jump out of the minecart, not just uh, jump with the minecart. Okay, so let's see. Just avoid everything. Grab this. Now, there is a bonus up here, but you have to be really vigilant if you want to find it because it's actually hidden pretty well. Ah, whatever. I didn't need a Rambi token anyways. Okay, get the... Oh, no, I guess I missed the O. Oh, wait, there's an Engar token down there, and I missed it, too. Oh, well. Again, like, I mean, missing the tokens, it's not really a big deal, because I can just, uh... Not sure how that happened, but I can just, uh... Go back to earlier levels and try to find them again. That's really not going to be much of an issue. It was kind of lucky that I f found the, uh... Uh, continue barrel right there because I somehow missed the uh, um, cart when I jumped off of that. Oh, here's a. I can get a in guard token right now. Okay, that is the second one. I just need one more. I could possibly just exit the level and then start from the beginning and get that one that I missed, but that's just going to take up way too much time. So I'm not going to bother with that. Oh, come on. We're almost done at the level, I think. Yeah, we're almost done. Watch out for the zingers. For some reason, they had a Kremlin in a minecart right here. Not sure what they were trying to do for that. I guess they were just trying to be unique. Some tricky precision jumps right there. On, almost there. There's the last bonus right there. To get that, it's kind of weird, but you have to get off the cart, then jump back over here to get it. And all we have in here are just the uh, bananas, so I'm just gonna leave. Now, let's finish this level and go on to the last level of uh, Krimco Industries. A very annoying level Blackout Basement. Like the name suggests, randomly, the lights will go out and you can't see anything. It's really annoying. I believe the only things you can see are bananas. And that's it. You can't see enemies. You can't see barrels for the most part. So this is just a very, very annoying level. And you have to be very careful while you're going through it, too. If that wasn't obvious, I'm pretty sure it was. But Oh, wait. Okay, there's an Ingar token right there. I'm going to go ahead and get that so I can show you the end guard stage. This is the last stage I'm going to show you guys. If I ever get three tokens again, I'm not going to show you the stages. Anyways, one quick thing I want to correct myself on, and thanks to all my commenters for uh, correcting me on this, but for the giant tokens, apparently, apparently you're supposed to go for those last, because whenever you get them, they double the amount of... Uh, tokens you have at that point so like if I get a bunch of tokens like 300 and then I get the big token I actually get like uh, um, 600 so yeah it's, it's a very good idea to go for the tokens first of course it's a little difficult for the Rambi stage just because of the way that stage is set up but still they pretty much want you to aim for the tokens first and then get the big tokens later. So I got about 200. That should be good enough. Go through the wall and get this token. Then you get all the tokens. And yep, look, I have over 400 now. So uh, yeah, thanks to everybody who corrected myself on that. 
I feel kind of stupid for not knowing that, but still, I mean, lives are never really a concern for me when I play this game, so... Yep, there we go. The last Animal Buddy stage. I'm not going to show any more in this game, so do not ask for them, because I've shown you them all already. So now I can actually, you know, just go through the game. I still have to get all the bonuses, though, of course. Okay. Yeah, this is where I was when I got the token. And let's continue. It's really annoying that you can't see the enemies that you're trying to get past while you're going through this level. That's just kind of kind of a dick move if you ask me. But whatever. Just go through this level slowly and you should be okay. Make sure you make the right jumps because a wrong jump could totally screw you over. Okay. Great, we're swinging in the dark and we can't see where we're going. That's that's the perfect way to do this level. For those wondering about the bonuses, we'll get to them shortly. Once you see a bunch of arrow blocks, we're getting very close to where the first bonus is. I want to go ahead and switch to Diddy Kong because I feel more comfortable when I use him. Not that there's anything wrong with Donkey Kong, he's also a pretty agile Kong to use in this game, but still. Aw, oh, damn it. I couldn't even see them. I really, really hate this level. Okay, see that single banana? You guessed it. Bonus stage. Okay, let's just go ahead and end the bonus stage. I don't need to show you this. And let's continue this very terrible level where I can't see anything. Okay, I should probably talk about these steel keg barrels because I keep forgetting to do so. Uh, these barrels, whenever they hit a wall, they'll actually bounce back and then, you know, go forward. And one thing you can actually do on these barrels is if you hit a wall and then jump on them, you can actually ride the barrel for a little while, which is kind of cool. But I normally don't recommend doing that because... I mean, especially in this level, when you can't really see what you're doing anyways. So yeah, uh, probably shouldn't do that. Can't see the claptrap, wish they would get out of my way. And there is a bonus right here, unfortunately, I don't have a barrel, so... I have to go through this entire level again, so... Yep, cut to bonus stage, and I'll show you that in a minute. Okay, we have the boss level of uh, Krimco Industries. Before I do that, though, I want to go ahead and save my game, because uh, once again, we won't see a save point for a while after this, so got to make sure we keep our game saved up to 83% now. And let's fight the boss. Boss Dumb Drum. Okay, those little... Uh, uh, oil can things that toss out enemies. Those things are called dumb drums. So sorry for getting that wrong earlier. Okay, so this is Boss Dumb Drum. He tries to squish you, and then after that, he spits out enemies for you to fight. Then he repeats the process. He spits out different enemies each time. So expect something new each time you do this phase, or each time you do each phase. And, uh,. See, next he's going to shoot out the clap traps. Simple enough. Yeah, it's just a rinse and repeat process, really. Okay, these enemies are called clomps. Uh, you can only jump on them with Donkey Kong, but you can actually roll into them with Diddy Kong, too. So, if you don't have Donkey Kong with you, it's not impossible to win. But, still, it's easier with Donkey Kong. And the last enemy it shoots out are these stupid armadillo things. I hate these guys. Okay, so destroy them. And there we go. Boss defeated. 
And that about does it for Krimco Industries. Pretty fun world. But, we're off to the last world of the game. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Chimp Caverns.